sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right Welcome to Vet Ranch. I am not dressed as a veterinarian because I'm up here on my day off because I got a text about this dog. He was scheduled to be euthanized and they said, can you help him? And he is in pretty bad shape. He is a pup. I would guess a little under a year old. He has demodectic mange. You can see he's missing a lot of his hair. Very skinny. He has a secondary staph infection too. He's very stinky and pretty sure he's blind. When I went and got him, he was staring at a wall. I don't think he can see much of anything. And he was at a shelter for a few days before I got him and they had started treating him with ivermectin. Symptoms of ivermectin toxicity are blindness. So he may just have a little toxicity from that. I'm hoping that's all it is because it's usually temporary and we can um, flush the system out and get that ivermectin out um, with a little time. So we're going to try that. I'm going to treat him a different way for this mange and see if his vision is restored. But he's in pretty rough shape. His gums are really pale, meaning he's anemic. They have a little slight hint of yellow, meaning his liver is having some issues as well. So poor nutrition and poor conditions has uh, set this guy up to have a rough, rough start to his young life. And we're going to see what we can do to bring him back from near dead and make him a happy, healthy puppy. So in a normal dog, when you shine a light in their eye, their pupils are supposed to constrict. His do not. This is called a menace response, where you kind of act like something's coming toward an eye, and a normal dog will close their eyes, but he's not doing much of that. Just in terrible shape. And he has stunk up this room. About to give him an antibiotic injection, and I'm gonna go give him a bath. Good boy. I know, I'm sorry. Good boy. Good boy. And his name is Rem, R E M. You can tell he's just, he's not like a normal puppy. Giving old Rem a bath right now, just scrubbing and getting all these scabs off of him. It's been two days, and I have good news this little boy can see me. Good boy. He still can't see very well, but he has some vision, which is an improvement from a couple days ago. And he actually will hold his little head up a little bit more. I actually got his little tail to waggle a little bit today. So we are coming along well. He seems to be improving day by day, and that is a good sign. I was worried he was going to be permanently blind, but looks like it was probably just ivermectin toxicity and these signs are going to be temporary. He still doesn't feel good enough and is a little too scared to approach me and come sit in my lap even when I'm coaxing him. Just a nervous little puppy. I don't think he trusts people very much yet. It has been 11 days since we first got Rim and look at his little tail wagon. Come here, come here. He can see he has totally normal vision now. I guess we flushed all that ivermectin out of his system and he seems to be doing really good. He still looks pretty terrible, but those, sc those scales and scabs are starting to fall off him now, and hopefully in the next couple weeks his hair will start coming back. Good boy, you good boy, you good boy. He's still very nervous at first, but he's learning to trust people, and he's starting to know that we're here to love on him and give him food and make him feel better. That little spark is back in him today. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I've been working on some cutting edge technology. This technology can cure any disorder. So basically how it works is I've set up um, electromagnetic field going from there to there. And so I start the animals over on this side of my yard and I get them to come all the way across. And by the time they get all the way over there, they'll be completely healed. And we're gonna test it on him. He's kind of our little test subject. Um, I'm not too worried. I think he's gonna be okay. I think I'll make it through the testing. Hopefully he can pull through and we'll grow all of his hair back. Cause he sure needs his hair. Winter's coming and he's gonna be pretty cold. Winter is coming. Now this electromagnetic magnetic radiation really disturbs a lot of things. It even changes the seasons a little bit. It sometimes changes my clothes, sometimes makes your hair grow or get shorter. It's really weird.
technology really does work, does it not? Look at old Rim. He is a totally different dog than when we first got him. He's totally healed and he will hopefully be adopted very soon. He shouldn't have any problems because he is a very happy, friendly dog. He's very loving and cuddly with even new people. You're a good boy. And that technology is pretty crazy. It knocked a bunch of the leaves out of my trees. It put this weird cat shirt on me. This cat shirt was actually given to me by um, a, a viewer of our channel. They came into the vet clinic and said they wanted me to have this shirt. And I promised them I would wear it in a video. And I actually like it. It's a little tight, a little tight, but it makes me look good. We got a note from a young viewer. He says he really likes Demolition Ranch. Um, and he says he wants me to do more videos with Creepy Cooter. And he sent $20. And he said that $20 was his own money from taking care of his neighbor's two dogs. So he went out and he worked and he earned 20 bucks and then he gave it to us to help dogs like Rim. So Tristan, I really appreciate your help with that. This will be our last update on Rim. We have sure enjoyed having him. He is a good little pup. We'll make someone a great family member someday. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch and we will see you next time.